Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. When you are ready to begin creating the publication to be used with your data source, you can use the task pane to walk through the process one step at a time. To do this, change the task pane's drop-down menu to Mail and Catalog Merge. Once you have done this, you will notice that you have the option to process a mail merge or a catalog merge. Once you have chosen the type of merge you will be processing, click the Next link at the bottom of the task pane. Next, to use an address list that you've already created, click the Browse link and the Select Data Source dialog box will open. Here you can navigate to the location of your data source, select it, and open it. Once you've done this, the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box will open. Here you can select or deselect which records you'd like to include in the merge. Since I can see this second record is empty, I might want to take a check mark out of the checkbox so that it's not included in the merge and I don't waste a label. To have selected which records to include, click OK. Now your data source will be attached and you can click the next link at the bottom of the task pane. Once you do this, you will notice that your options in the task pane change to let you insert data fields into your publication. To insert fields, you must first select the placeholder text if using a wizard, or insert a text box and click it to select it. If you are creating a mailing label or envelope, the address block option in the task pane is very handy. This will automatically insert the necessary address fields, put them in the correct order, and include any punctuation and spacing needed. When you click the Address Block link, the Insert Address Block dialog box will open. Here you can choose a format for the recipient's name, choose whether or not you would want to include the company name, and select an option for the postal address. Once you've chosen the formatting options you like, click OK. If you want to insert other fields from your data source, you can use the scroll box in the task pane to scroll to the field you would like to insert and simply click it to insert it. This method of inserting fields requires you to manually insert spaces and punctuation. Once you have inserted all of the necessary fields, you can click the Next link at the bottom of the task pane to move on to the next step. Now you can click the Next and Previous buttons towards the top of the task pane to view each of the publications that will be created with the merge. Once you have reviewed the publications, you can click the Next link at the bottom of the task pane to move on to the next step. Now you can click Print to print your merged publications, Create New Publication to use the merged pages in a new publication, or Add to Existing Publication to add the merged pages to the end of a publication you already have. If you are printing your merge, you can choose a printer and a range of labels to be printed. When you're ready, click OK. If at any time you would like to start the Mail Merge Wizard over, simply reselect Mail and Catalog Merge from the Task Pane's drop-down menu. Thank you! We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download.
You will receive our high-quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy-to-use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!